Welcome again to Budget with Brian. And not so long ago, we talked about pencil sharpeners, pencils, that sort of thing. Here's a couple of stocking fillers. I don't like to say we're getting towards Christmas, but here's a couple of stocking fillers. One of the things I said last time is that these carpenter's pencils are a bit of a nightmare for me because you have to use uh, sharp instruments to sharpen the pencil. But I've come across this this week, which is a silver line carpenter's pencil sharpener. And just look at this. You've got a square end, you put your pencil in and you turn the wick and there you go you get a um, carpenter's pencil sharpened and this is a pound yeah real stocking filler that haven't been said how about uh, your propelling pencil version of the um, carpenter's pencil this has got a, a, a lead continuous lead that uh, you can um, um, pull out, break off uh, as necessary and uh, so this again is this already sharpened ready to go. This is another stocking filler, got a refill here and it's £2.60. Uh, the uh, silver line was a pound and why wouldn't you? So a little bit closer uh, on the silver line pencil sharpener you can see that it's got the square end to accept uh, the square end of the pencil um, it's long so that uh, it'll get down to uh, the bottom and it's quite unlike uh, the uh, the standard pencil sharpener which is designed for round um, pencils um, uh, and yeah you tell me be interested in your comments yeah, it's got a little abrasive thing on the side. We're not sure if that's the sharp and the lead. Uh, I suspect so. Um, uh, certainly, I don't think it's uh, strong enough uh, to take wood off. Next up is the Decton, my version propelling pencil, a version of the Carpenter's pencil. Um, it is got a good ergonomic feel. It draws a, a neat line. Um, the leads uh, come out like so. You can break them off um, uh, as you need them. Sh shape the end uh, if you want to. And there are three um, leads that come with it. Although one could argue that that's something that you've got to buy again in the future. Uh, but at £2.60, maybe that's not such a big deal. 